Hey, welcome back to another Zelda Breath of the Wild modding tutorial. Today we're going to be modding background music. Uh, so this is going to be a, a somewhat shorter tutorial than the previous ones because the process actually isn't too difficult. Special thanks and shout out goes to Queen Funi. The next batch of Zelda Breath of the Wild modding video tutorials are collaboration between the two of us. So down in the description you'll find a text version of this tutorial that she's created. As with all my Zelda modding tutorials, links to all resources you need to follow along can be found down in the description. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is actually know what music you want to replace in game. Um, so we have a list here of music and again this link will be down in the description below. Uh, and for this modding tutorial, we're going to change the music that plays when fighting a talus, a stone talus. So, um, I'm sure you're pretty familiar with that music. It's one of the first things you hear when you go out onto the Great Plateau. Uh, so yeah, we have the name right here, BGM underscore SP battle underscore golem underscore main. So that's the file name. This is the description, obviously, but this is what we're looking for. So let's close this, or actually we can copy this, and we'll go searching for this file. We're going to open up the game data and search for that file. All right, so the music can be found within content. Uh, you have two options here for the most part. If you want to edit a voice track, which we're not doing, we're doing background music, but voice tracks can be found under voice. Uh, music, general music is found under sound, resource, and specifically what we're going for right now is under stream. And here are all the background music tracks. Let's just make it really easy for ourselves and just paste in what we're searching for. So here it is, BGM SP Battle Golem. Let's copy this file, close out of this window. And let's open up a project window specifically for this mod. So I've made one right here, Zelda background music modding. We'll open this up. I've already downloaded the music that I wish to replace this track with. It's battle music from Zelda 2. Let's just paste the original track right here. All right, so we have our project folder set up. The next thing we wanna do is download a copy of Looping Audio Converter version 1.3 for Windows. I've already downloaded that right here, but of course the download link, again with everything else, can be found in the description. So make sure you download that, and let's extract it into this project folder. An interesting thing to know about this process is that any music that you choose to replace the Breath of the Wild background music doesn't actually have to match the file size of the original file. Uh, so you can pretty much choose anything you want. The file size can be as large or as long as you want and you shouldn't have an issue. That being said, it's really important to note here that if you've downloaded or intend to use an mp3 file, you're going to have to convert it to a WAV file first because that's the format that Looping Audio Converter actually requires uh, in order for you to convert it into a BFSTM file, which of course is our stream uh, file format and that's the background audio format that we're going to be using here or that the game actually needs. So if you need to convert your mp3 file into a WAV file, just hop into something like Audacity. It's really easy to do. You just import your file into the program and export it as a WAV file. Um, and it just turns out that that's actually what I have to do here for this mp3 file. So let me quickly show you how that's done and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so really quick here for anybody else who has to convert their mp3 into a WAV file, uh, you can use Audacity, so let's open that up. Here's Audacity. Uh, I'm not gonna be showing you anything too complex because uh, all we're doing is saving this out, this mp3 out as a WAV file. So just click and drag it into Audacity. There's our WAV file right there. We wanna go to File, down to Export Audio, and we just want to save it out as a WAV file. Hit OK. And close the program out. And here we go, here's our new WAV file. 
All right, the next thing that I like to do is actually open up a new folder. Let's create a new folder here. This is actually gonna be our output directory. So let's just call this work files. Uh, just to try to keep things a little bit more organized. Now inside of work files, we can actually create the uh, directory structure that Semu or the Wii U is actually going to need to use. Uh, it's just recreating the directory structure that the game actually uses itself. So um, we're going to create a new folder and call it content. Inside of content, we're going to create another folder and we're going to call this sound. And inside of sound, we're going to be creating another folder. <laughs> We're going to call this resource. Also note that sound and resource uh, both are capitalized and as is the next folder, which is called stream. And this is where our mod's going to sit. But let's go up a few levels back to the program. So to make this a little bit easier, um, let's go into looping audio converter instead of putting our files in here and uh, it, it could get confusing so let's try to make this really really simple let's create a shortcut let's right click on the exe file create shortcut so there it is we're gonna cut this control X go up back to our root and paste the shortcut right here now the next step we want to do is actually open looping audio converter. So let's double click on that and open it up and say run. So here's the program right here. The first thing that you're going to want to do is import your WAV file. So click on add and import your WAV file into the program. With your WAV file now in looping audio converter, you're going to want to set your output directory. So click on these three dots here and select an output directory. Uh, we're actually going to use the directory structure that we set up in work files. So we're going to navigate to that. And of course it's under content, sound, resource, and stream. So we're gonna save it under stream, hit okay. Next thing we wanna do is select our output format. So hit this drop down box and go down to BFSTM. And of course, that's the streaming audio format that the game uses. Once you've done those three things, all you have to do is hit start and the program will do its magic. There we go, it's exported one file, so hit OK. And we can actually close looping audio converter now. So let's go into our work files, go into content, sound, resource, stream and here it is battle.bfstm so the next thing we need to do here is actually change the file name and when we go back up i copied over the original file just so we had that file name here it is i'm going to copy it and then go back into my structure and rename this as simple as that so, all we have to do now is test it and see if it worked. So to make things really easy, all you actually have to do is copy your files over and paste it into the proper directory. So I have my semu set up in a particular way which ensures that my AOC folder or directory is actually my downloadable content and I've actually combined the update files with the base game data. This has allowed me to actually use that other folder within Semu solely for my modding. Uh, so it just keeps things really clean and simple. I'm gonna copy this and let's open up the Semu folder. All right, here's my Semu modding directory. Uh, I'm currently using build 1.12.2. And this is what I was talking about previously. The AOC, of course, is used for downloadable content. 
And usually, if you install uh, using the automated process through SEMU, the updates will be installed under this content directory right here, or usually to this root directory actually. Um, I've combined these files with the base game files and um, I might actually make a tutorial on explaining this a little bit more in depth because it's a little bit uh, outside of the scope of this video. Uh, but let's go into content and this is the directory that we want to paste it into. I already have another sound mod in here. Um, so you can see sound, resource, stream, and here's another track that I've been working on. If you didn't have a sound directory, you could directly paste it into your content folder. Um, since I do have one, I'm just gonna go through the directory here that we've already outputted, copy this audio file, this stream file, and we're gonna paste it into Semu. There we go. So we can close out our project directory folder because we don't need that any longer. And we're actually going to test it in Semu. So let's go back up to the root directory of Semu and open up Semu. Run our game and test this out. It's also important to note that the directories for both Semu and Wii U users, if you're using SD Caffeine, they're a little bit different. So I'm actually going to post those on screen here so you can see them. But again, these directories and the differences can also be found in Funi's Modding Background Music document tutorial, which will be linked down in the description. So now let's jump into the game and listen to our new mod. And it was as simple as that. So there you go, try it out for yourself. So as you can notice from the music that started playing there, uh, a few tweaks need to be made. Uh, the intro to it sounds a little off, is pretty jarring, um, and is a little bit loud. So these are all things that you can tweak in a program like Audacity, and then go through the process again and re-import it into Semu or through SD Caffeine uh, to test. And you just go through that process so you get the audio the way you want it, which is what I'll be doing with this track here. As always, if you have any questions uh, or you need any help with this process, make sure to ask down in the comments below or jump into our Discord, The Kingdom of Geeks. Uh, the link to that is also in the description. Uh, yeah, and I hope that this was useful and helpful to you guys. And if you come up with anything really interesting and you want to share it, make sure to share on the Discord server. Uh, I'd love to see it. Um, also, be sure to check out the Breath of the Wild modding hub which is also our main community for Zelda Breath of the Wild modding. But yeah guys, until next time, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next modding tutorial video. Keep your fire burning and stay true. Peace.